Hotep Sagittarius. Welcome to your Lovers of Biz Love reading for the month of November 2020. You know me as the Cosmic Divine Tarot, and you also know that I was going to set it off with you when I started this whole thing again, because you, Sagittarius, really came through for a goddess, all right? And I love y'all for that. Now, check this out. This is for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, and I got your card spread on out because I got a new deck today called the Light Sears, right? Yeah, I went ahead and got the light there, Sajay. <laughs> I most certainly did, baby. Now, okay, check this out. If this reading resonates with you, then hit that like, share, subscribe to my channel. If it doesn't resonate with you, then don't worry about it, Sagittarius, because you know I'm going to get you again soon, right? Yeah, you yeah, you know how we're going to do that, Sajay. <laughs> okay, so check this out. Now, what you got in the first row here is the Seven of Wands, the Six of Chalices, the Empress, and the Knight or the Nine of uh, Cups. Okay. So what that telling me, Sagittarius, is that you have been through some ish, all right? You've been through the ringer on some things when it comes to love, right? And passion and, and affection and people just treating you any old type of way, okay? You're in a, a meditative zone here with the, with the seven of uh, wands. You're in a meditative zone here. You're like at peace with your whole past. You're at peace with everything that happened in your past or you're going to be. You're going to be at peace with everything that's happened to you. You're going to be at peace with all the people who let you down in the past. You're going to be at peace with all the failed attempts at a loving relationship where you gave your all and got absolutely nothing in return from somebody, all right? Or from somebody's. Now, Sagittarius... What the heck on six of uh, chalices? You got somebody reminiscing about you now. And all nostalgic about you. All in love with you. Remembering what it was like to be with you. Alright, let me show you this card. Remembering what it was like to be with you. Remembering the good old days. This may be somebody who you've known in your childhood. Okay, somebody who you've known since you were a child, and they going to step back on the scene. All right, they see you as an empress. They see you as an empress, and this person is thinking of coming at you with a whole bunch of sexual energy. Okay, the nine of, nine of cups here. The nine of cups here means that this person is very... Uh, emotional about you because we got the nine of cups here so this person is really thinking about just you being this treasure this treasure Sagittarius and they want to make you the mother of their child that's what they want to do they want to come at you and impregnate you because they know that you are the one that they love because the second row here we got the the world card the ace of wands and the knight of cups okay so hey yeah this person uh <laughs> this person wants to come across the world to see you said jay okay yeah yeah uh-huh yes ma'am <laughs> absolutely they could be in another city another state another country baby but that don't matter because they gonna find you Okay, wherever you are, Sagittarius, you can expect this person to step on the scene. You're dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. As a matter of fact, you're dealing with all the signs with the world here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. All right. Now with the Ace of Wands here, yeah, this person want to utilize that wand. Yeah, baby. They want to utilize that wand on you. Yeah, they want to come at you real hot, real passionate, and check you out with the daggone uh, Knight of Cups. He got his daggone flowers out and everything. He got everything he trying to give to the Pisces. I mean, to the uh, Sagge. To the Sagge. You may be dealing with the Pisces, because that just came right on out, right? <laughs> okay, so Sagittarius. Right. This person want to come to your door. 
give you flowers or come to your workplace giving you flowers or just ordering flowers for you because uh with the three of pentacles in the third row here and the two of wands they're just waiting on that pentacle they're just waiting on that pentacle to come at you because the six of pentacles is right here and guess who it is Platow. Hold up. <laughs> Platow. The Emperor. That's right, Sajay. This is the Emperor. He is fine as hell. Look at him. Oh, girl. Mm. Now, if this is if this is in reverse and the Empress is trying to come to the Emperor to go ahead and get uh pregnant by him, then hey, that's cool. That's cool. Because we got the Emperor and the Empress out here. Somebody coming to the other person, trying to go ahead and, and offer this romantic gesture of love and passion with the wand straight out at him. Just waiting for their opportunity. Just waiting for the opportunity to do that. Waiting with the two of wands here. They want to come and build something with you. They want to come and build a whole life with you, Sagittarius. Now, check this out. Here is the uh, Moonology card. And I'm going to get you a few shuffles here so we can find out a little bit more about this person who's uh, wanting to come to the Sagittarius. Who wants to step on the scene with all this sexual energy. Don't give a hoot, holla, he, where he at, where she at. Oh, they coming. <laughs> they coming hard. They, they got love on the mind. They got love, sex, and impregnation on the mind. Sagittarius. Okay, yeah, that's what they got. <laughs> oh, boy, Sagittarius. So, yeah, while you are in all... Peaceful. You are peaceful. You are all at peace. Like, okay, well, you probably made peace with the fact that, hey, maybe love is just not for me. Maybe I just need to go ahead and give myself the love and to hell with trying to be all in relationships. That may be what you're saying to yourself, Sagittarius, but your ancestors, the, the universe or your deity has something else in store for you, okay? Let me get you one more shuffle. All right, so let's go ahead and cut the deck and see more about this person <clears throat> for the Sagittarius. What more can you tell? What more can we tell the Sagittarius about this person who wants to come across the world at him? Okay, okay. Might be a Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. New Moon and Cape. Okay. New moon in the Capricorn. So, they're putting in hard work. And they're waiting to reap some type of benefit to get the pentacle so that they can be an emperor to step on the scene with you. And to be that with you. To be this loving partner that you've been seeking, Sagittarius. But you've been keep running into a whole bunch of people who just was on some old boom. <laughs> They just, uh, they didn't know what the heck to do with this subject, all right? Now, what else we got? What else we got? Here we go. What do you need to release? This is the wanting moon. All right. Okay. So, this person has to release something first before they can go ahead and come at you. All right. Okay. What else we got? They got to release something. Maybe, maybe they got to release some fear or, you know, fear of rejection or release something going on in their life right or maybe that's talking to you Sagittarius maybe you need to release something when this person comes into your life get you one more moonology card all right come on what other messages do we have for the Sagittarius all right all right boom don't let your past hold you back Sagi. Now, what, were we, what was we just talking about, Sajay, right? We were talking about you in the past, in meditative zone, like, uh, well, I'm just going to be at peace with the fact that maybe love is not for me. And, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and accept the fact that uh, 
I need to just give the love to myself and just be at peace with the fact of my past and maybe there's just nobody out here for me but Sagittarius. You don't let don't let your past hold you back, baby. Do not let your past hold you back because this person that is coming into your life is an emperor and they are doing a lot of hard work. Okay? They're doing a lot of hard work to get to you. You could be dealing with the Capricorn because Capricorn is emperor and empress. Well, the emperor and empress is all the uh, the kings and the queens in, in one. All right. I'm going to get you some love oracle cards. Number three. To get you some more messages. Get you a little bit more intel about this whole situation. Babe. Okay. All right. <coughs> so we don't need to be dwelling on the past any daggone way. Sajay. We don't need to be doing that. We do not need to be dwelling on the past with them fools, them boo-boo the fools from the past, all right? Let them mugs uh, stay in the daggone graveyard where they belong, and let's live in the present, right? In the present, looking towards the future. Live in the now, looking towards that future, baby. All right, boom. Now, let's see. What other messages do? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. These two cards came out. Strategy. Have a game plan. Implement daily routines that support your goals. Be clear about your desires. All right. That's what this person is. They got a strategy going on. They got things that they're implementing, and that's why their uh, hard work is paying off. They are being very strategic before they come at you. Core values. Seek partners who core values align with your own. Meet your tribe at places of interest to you. All right. So they know that you are their tribe and they're coming at you. This is somebody who met you in the past who is all nostalgic about you. Like I said, you're dealing with all the signs. But Capricorn came out here because the Emperor and the Empress is here. But uh, like I said, the Emperor and the Empress is all the kings and queens as one. You know what I'm saying? So this person has your core values. They are aligned with your core values, Sagic. All right. Okay, Sagittarius, here we go. Mingle. Mingle, baby. Now it says, go to places that pique your interest. Attend social ga gatherings. Uh, talk to meet new people. All right? So, yeah, this person from your past has mingled and went to all kind of places to try to find somebody. And so have you, Sagittarius. You've done that already. You've gone to all types of different places to meet people. Okay, but so has this person. So they're now looking for somebody who's going to have the same core values as they do. And that's what's going on here. All right. That is what's going on here, Sagittarius. They know who that person is. They know who that empress is. So they are releasing these people and they have a strategy. They have a plan to work hard to get to you. All right. You also have to release these people, and when they get to you, don't let your past hold you back, baby. All right? Now, I'm going to get you one more card. Here we go. Because this is the real deal. This person is the real deal, and they know that you are the real deal. They see your light. A total keeper. Genuine, compatible, authentic, healthy. A good choice. A good choice, Sagittarius. They know who the heck they touch know who the heck a Sagittarius is. <laughs> they ain't no daggone fool. You're not dealing with boo-boo no more. You is not dealing with boo-boo no more. This bad boy is an emperor. <laughs> this girl right here is an empress. Okay? So, don't even worry about all that Sagittarius. Okay? Now, Sagittarius, if this reading resonates with you, then go ahead and like, share, subscribe to the channel. If it didn't, don't worry about it because I'm going to keep doing my Sagittarius. I'm going to keep hitting up my Sagittarius because my Sagittarius, I got mad love for the Sagittarius because my Sagittarius been showing me mad love too. Okay. So until next time, Sagittarius, peace, love, and light. Hotel, baby.